Hey guys, it has been a very long time since I did any kind of progress update as far as showing you before and after pictures or comparing measurements. And that's partly because I've been taking a more relaxed approach to this whole fitness and health mission this time around. I'm not focusing on toning up quickly or seeing massive losses on the scale every week. My aim is basically just the path of least resistance because in the attempts that I've made in the past, I completely overhaul my life with health and fitness change up like 90% of my behaviors, focusing on leading this perfect life. Maybe I could sustain that for a while, but it ends up getting overwhelming and then I drop it. Um, also, I had a binge eating disorder to deal with. <laughs> that was, believe it or not, a thing that was seriously hindering my whole health and fitness thing. But anyway, I decided that it is high time that we do a little bit of a check-in. I not only wanna go over my body progress and the way that I look and stuff, but of course, go into other changes that I noticed as well. And also give you guys a more in-depth detail on like the things that I'm doing and why this time around just feels so effortless. And just a bit of a PSA before we get started. If you're one of those people who feel compelled to tell me that I should have made more progress in this amount of time, I just have one question for you. Bitch, who are you? Seriously, who are you? Because all of your profile pictures look like this. You don't exactly have any skin in the game. I'm just saying, don't let anybody belittle your progress, no matter how minuscule it may appear, because those people have no idea how hard it was for you to get to that point. So just never mind what other people say. Keep trying, keep failing, keep learning, and keep growing. That's all, now let's get into it. I wanna start this video off by talking about something that I have been keeping hush-hush for so long now and I've been wanting to talk about, but I have basically been gatekeeping it. And that is also the sponsor of this video, which is Copilot. Copilot is a one-on-one -on -one coaching experience and I'm just gonna like speak candidly off the cuff. When Copilot was first brought on my radar, I had no idea what they were. I looked at their marketing, I watched a commercial and in the commercial, there was something along the lines of it saying like, it feels like your trainer's in the room with you. And I literally remember rolling my eyes and like thinking, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, just very skeptical. But at the time I was really struggling with my workouts and figuring out what to do. I was just kind of petering around my home gym, not really making much progress at all. So I was willing to give it a chance with the caveat that if I didn't like it, then I wouldn't be bound to anything. But oh, how the tads have changed because I am now sitting here trying to figure out how I'm gonna convince co-pilot to let me be their poster child. That's how much I love it and I can just see it benefiting so many people's lives the same way that it has mine. I think it's brilliant. So let me just go ahead and explain to you how it works. So you get matched with a coach. Then you have a video call with that coach. You discuss a realistic goal you have along with any concerns or injuries or anything your coach should be aware of about you. This is my first call with my coach Grace and she has this really supportive coaching style and I wish that you could hear all of the wonderful things that she had to say in this meeting. However, even though I filmed two separate angles, I accidentally deleted one file and this one had no sound, so embarrassingly, this is pretty on brand for me, but I digress. Grace is still awesome. And we clicked pretty much immediately. I really admired her whole approach to coaching and she just seemed really chill and that we would really get along. But also, if for whatever reason you don't jive with your coach, you have the option to switch. So after you hang up, your coach makes a personalized routine specific to the things that you discussed in the call. And those workouts are made available to you through the app. What I personally like to do is immediately open up the workout, scroll through and see all of the exercises and kind of set my gym up accordingly. If I need the 20 pound weights, I have them out already ready to go. So I'm not like fumbling around with equipment. And by the way, you don't need a bunch of fancy equipment either. You just tell your coach what you have access to and then they'll just make a workout around that. Copilot's user experience is really well designed. Once you hit start on your watch, the app provides visual on your phone, giving you demonstrations of the current workout you're doing, along with a progress bar, and a full list of exercises in the workout. It keeps track of workout and rest time so you don't have to, and there's also an auditory component that guides you along and cues you throughout as well so you don't even have to glance at your phone if you don't want to. It blends seamlessly while listening to music so you don't have to choose one or the other. Up next is seven reps of push-up to reach. After you complete a workout, you get all your stats. 
calories burnt, a complete graph of what your heart rate was doing the entirety of the workout, and probably my favorite thing, which is a relative strain chart, which tracks how hard you worked and compares it to the last time you did that specific workout. So you can see the amount you strain go down over time. That's you getting stronger and the workout becoming easier for you. And then your coach will of course switch up your routine and make sure you're still being challenged. But aside from the app, which is an awesome tool, what really sets Copilot apart is the connection you're able to form with your coach. Grace has been so completely supportive, awesome, and really facilitated my growth these past three months. And that's the thing, like you have access to the chat 24 seven and you're able to schedule calls and send videos. Hey Bean, as promised, I'm gonna send you this video on the Cossack squat. So the things that I want you to think about um, when you're doing this versus coming back and then you're able to come a little bit further down. Grace has really become a friend throughout this entire process. Well, I immediately started seeing results with Grace because in the initial phone call, I was like, I don't like doing squats because my knees always hurt. There wasn't an injury or anything, but when I do squats, they hurt. I think I just have bad knees. And so I thought that Grace just wouldn't include squats on the list, but she instead taught me how to properly do squats. And it's not like I had never looked up how to do a squat, because I have several times. Form is very important for not injuring your Yourself. So like I was trying to learn, I was trying to do my due diligence, you know, for some reason it just never clicked. But Grace sent me a video, she gave me some cues, and for the first time ever, I did squats without knee pain. And Grace doesn't know this, but she's also responsible for a lot of new dance moves that I can do now that involve dropping it low. So instantly within the first session, I was seeing improvement, right? So I was like, Oh, maybe we are on to something here. And then over time, I noticed myself getting stronger. Wall push-ups were hard for me in the beginning because like my upper arm strength was just not with it. And now I can do a normal push-up. Granted, just like one, but that is awesome. And now I'm reaching for 20 pound dumbbells during some of the workouts when before five pounds was just like a lot. It's just insane and it's so rewarding to feel yourself become more strong and more capable and your body's just able to do so much more. It's like the best thing. Hearing you be like really confident about like I'm dancing more now and like I feel more confident in doing squats and all these things that like really just change the way that you live your life almost. Mm -hmm. and, and it's something as simple as like some workouts, you know, that like helped you kind of transform into like, I am this like badass girl who can do all these yeah. things and like not be worried about it. So it's really cool to see like the increase in just your confidence overall. From oh, yeah. Day one to now. It's really cool. So I'm definitely going to mention Grace and Copilot throughout the rest of this video. But the people approving the ad read are probably like, what is this? <laughs> because I'm rambling on forever. So I just need to get to the point where I tell you about the special promotion that they gave me to pass along to you because it's honestly pretty awesome. So if you click the link in my description, you get a 14 day free trial of Copilot. And also you are locked in for over 20% off forever. Cue the Sandlot kid. Forever, forever, forever. That's only $99 a month instead of $129, which is seriously so inexpensive for the value that I've received. Considering a traditional personal trainer costs anywhere from $39 to $100 per hour. I think Copilot is absolutely amazing because it makes this kind of service accessible for so many more people now. So if you've been wondering where my workouts come from or how I put together my routines, the answer is I don't. I don't have to think about it at all. Grace handled that for me and it is wonderful. I think a lot of building up habits and stuff is decreasing the friction it takes to do things. Like all I have to do now is will myself to go in there and do the thing. And that is hard enough some days. So I don't need the extra struggle of trying to figure out what to do when I'm in there. So we talked about the workout. Now let's talk about food. As you guys know, I don't count calories or anything like that. I've really just been focusing on noticing when I'm full, get more like whole foods in there, fresh fruit, veggies, that kind of thing. At the same time, not really restricting myself that much like if I want to indulge one day I allow myself to but still trying to follow those rules about like stopping when I feel satiated something that me and Grace were actually talking about the other day was she asked me if I wanted any help with like nutrition stuff and then I kind of expressed to her that I'm a little bit hesitant to learn more about nutrition or like portions or like even tracking or anything even though she totally wasn't talking about tracking because in the past when I would set these really strict food rules for myself then it always kind 
kind of led to a binge. So I was noticing that I was feeling a bit of fear around that. But I think the next step would actually be to start learning more about nutrition. I think my fear is like, I'll learn more and then I'll be like, oh, this is what it takes to be healthy. And then like set harsh rules for myself and then overwhelm myself again. But I'm just gonna have to deal with those things as they come up and then try to maintain that balance. So another huge thing obviously is mental health for me. As you guys know, starting therapy has been so beneficial in my life. And I think it's the biggest thing thing that has made this attempt at getting healthier so much easier. Because I've been doing the work and taking care of myself mentally and emotionally, I noticed that it is just so much simpler to take care of my physical body now. And then it goes hand in hand. It's a symbiotic relationship. When you work out and you eat healthy and you get hydrated, it helps your mental health as well. So it's a pretty cool thing. Doing therapy has shed a lot of light on a lot of the roadblocks that have been in my way in so many aspects of my life. And I feel like I have grown a lot. Someone was actually pointing out the other day that in a video I had talked about my dad and they said before in previous videos, you weren't even able to bring up your dad without like choking up and like not being able to say anything. And now you articulate it so well. And I was like, okay, yeah. That is progress. Also stopping myself from a binge and all of that stuff. Like all of that is from therapy. That's not willpower. That's working on yourself and doing exercises and knowing yourself. So I don't know, that is definitely worth mentioning. And now what you all probably clicked on this video for, the physical results. Okay guys, it's a new day. I feel the need to tell you that for like continuity purposes. Otherwise it bothers me, even though it's painfully obvious that it's a new day. It took me a hot second to find my measurements from months ago, as well as video clips that I had taken. You think I would organize all that, but I did not. However, here we are right now, we are organized. I made everything pretty in a chart and we're ready to just share with the class. So let's go ahead and talk about weight and the scale first because that's the metric that I've been tracking all along, updating you every week because it's the easiest measurement for me to take. So when I restarted my health and fitness mission, I weighed 256.4 pounds, which was heavier by a couple of pounds than when I initially started this channel, which is by far not unusual for me. Like that would be typically what happens. I lose a significant amount of weight, then I fell off, went on a whole binging spree, then came back heavier than I was before. And that was kind of the cyclical cycle of my life. I stepped on the scale yesterday morning and I weighed 231 pounds on the dot. That means in the past week I lost almost a pound at like I think 0.9 of a pound and in total I lost 25.4 pounds which is really awesome. Let's go into measurements. Okay, so here are my measurements. As you can see, I have three separate ones. These are my starting measurements like where I first restarted. The second column is when I first started with Copilot. And then the total difference is just taking the end column from the starting column. So with my bust, I measure right around the areola. And I lost 3.5 inches total there. Um, under the bust, that's where like your bra band would be. And I lost four inches there. With my waist, it's like the smallest part of my torso, like right under my rib cage. I lost two inches there. And then I measure around my belly button line just because I feel like that's a really easy point to remember to measure just because it's always marked by your belly button. Lost two inches there. The thickest part of my belly, also known as a fupa, I lost 3.75 inches total there. Uh, with my butt, 2.75 inches lost there. With my thighs, I measure around the fattest part of them. I think some people measure right in the middle, but I go all the way up just where it's the fattest. I lost 2.5 inches on my left thigh, 1.75 on my right thigh. And something kind of interesting that I noticed with my like left and my right is that when I'm doing workouts, my left side is way more stable than my right. I wanna always like kick out my right foot or like do like weird things with it. And that's why I also injured my right knee recently because my left side has better form when I'm like doing lunges and stuff than my right side. So that's something I need to figure out how to remedy, but I just thought it was interesting. So that might be the difference on why I'm seeing a bigger loss from my left thigh than my right thigh because I'm doing the movements a little bit better with my left side. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Kind of interesting. Anyways, going into my left and right calves, I lost 0.75 inches on my left, one inch on my right, and that made them equal. And with my arms, I measure at the fattest point, so like where I have this little swaddle thing. I don't know if that's right or not. That's what I do, so just letting you know. And these are still different in like half of an inch, and you'll see that in the pictures too. With my shoulders, I just measured straight across right here with my arms down, and I didn't measure it the first time, but I did the second time, and I lost three inches there. Okay, I went ahead and threw in like the differences between 
between like these two points as well, just because I thought it was a little bit interesting. After starting Copilot, I didn't lose as much weight, probably because I'm gaining more muscle, but I did lose more inches. And I excluded this data point because I didn't measure it right around the time. So technically this column is minus 17 inches, but for comparison's sake, it's 14 because I didn't include that data point. Anyways, lost more weight here, but definitely toned up a lot more here and lost more consistently over my whole body. And I might have seen bigger numbers in like the belly and stuff, but I was just coming out of a binge cycle. I was very bloated and stuff. So likely a lot of that might have been water weight. But anyways, just pointing all of that out for those of you who like data like myself. And then here is that same chart just in centimeters instead of inches for those of you who use the metric system. I don't know her. I hope that I converted it right, but there you go. With the pictures, I went ahead and broke them down into three separate sections the same way that I did the measurements. So this last set of pictures is from start to finish where we see like the biggest difference. So we'll just go ahead and cycle through that. So the biggest difference again, like way softer in the before picture, even though I am still definitely an overweight plus size person in this picture, I can tell you 100% I feel so much better than I did here. Like look at my face here. I look miserable. I was. But I am way happier in this picture. Um, I'm able to do more. I have more endurance and more energy. And I didn't have to make like this huge like uproot of my lifestyle to get to this point either. Okay, on to the next angle. So we're seeing that wing go away, smaller all throughout here. The belly. Oh my goodness, the belly. Big difference there. Okay, here's the back view, just looking way more toned all throughout. And then we are going to move on to the other side. I think you really noticed my square butt in this side profile as opposed to this one. Like it's just kind of like hanging there. And then this one got a little bit more lifted. Um, definitely my thighs look skinnier. Whoa. Okay, so that is the update. 25.4 pounds lost total, 29 inches overall, and I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling healthy, and I'm feeling ready to see how much more progress we can make in the next six months. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna subscribe and hit that notification bell, all that stuff is really welcome because it helps out the channel tremendously. And again, if you're interested in trying out Copilot for yourself and getting your own one-on-one -on -one coaching experience, you can hit that link in my description, get your 14-day free trial, no commitment necessary. If you like it, great, because then you're locked in at an over 20% discount. That's $99 a month for a personalized coaching experience and I've just gotten so much value from it. I'm just very excited that I'm able to tell you about it now. Other than that, I just hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!